All right, here we go. This is one of our most important topics and it's also one of our hardest. Okay, so now we're still factoring quadratics. Okay, the difference between this topic and the last topic is now a is going to be more than 1. It's not going to be 1. Remember this? ax squared plus bx plus c, right? We've been working with expressions where this was just 1. It was 1x squared. But this a is now going to be a number other than 1. Okay, and that makes it a little bit harder. Okay, so we're going to start with the opposite of factoring, which is multiplying. So first we're going to multiply, and we're going to observe. We're going to observe what we see when we multiply here. Okay, so let's take a look. First, I'm going to multiply. And please, I know that you know how to do this, but please just follow along with me because it's going to make your life easier if your notes just look like exactly like mine for this part because I'm going to keep kind of referencing back to this. So I know that you could just pause the video right now and just do this. Love that for you, but just watch. Okay, so remember that we do this and watch. I'm not going to draw the lines yet. Okay, there's a reason I'm choosing not to. All right, but first I do 2x times x and I get 2x squared. Okay. Then I do 2x times 1, and I get 2x. Next I do 7 times x, I get 7x. And next I do 7 times 1, and I get 7. And then you know what comes next here? I'm going to combine my like terms. And what I end up with is 2x squared plus 9x plus 7. So now what we need to remember is that when I'm factoring, right, I'm going from here to here, right? This is factoring, doing multiplying in reverse. So this is factor. So let's just observe where everything came from. Where did this term come from? Okay, and look, I'm gonna use color, but I'm also just gonna use like different designs for each one so that you'll be able to just do it in pencil. So this 2x squared came from here, which came from this, 2x, look, so I'm single underlining times x. Okay, so this first term came from multiplying this times this. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump to the third term because this third term, look, I'm double underlining, came from here, which came from this, 7, double underline, double underline, times 1, okay? Now, it's this middle term that's kind of tricky, because where did this middle term come from? Here's where it came from. It came from this 2x plus this 7x. And where did the 2x come from? The 2x came from here, and the 7x came from here, okay? So notice this middle term came from 2x times 1 plus 7 times x, okay? That's where it came from. Look, let's observe multiplying one more time, and then we're going to do it in reverse. So again, I know that you know how to do this, but just go ahead and stick with me for now. It's just gonna make your life easier in a moment. So here's multiplying. I'm gonna multiply, multiply, right? So 36 times, uh, sorry, 3x times x, 3x squared. 3x times positive four. Oh, sorry, and I told you I wasn't gonna do that. Sorry, sorry. 3x times four is 12x. That way I can just have these lines on my notes after. Two times x is two x, and two times four is eight. And once again, I'm combining my like terms. So what I get is 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. Okay, so once again, observe. Where did this 3x come from? It came from 3x times x. Where did this 8 come from? It came from 2 times 4. Look, let's double underline those. And then this middle term is the trickiest because what it came from is 12x plus 2x, which came from this and this. Okay, so that middle term is tricky because it comes, I have to kind of, as I'm working backwards, I'm gonna have to trace it back through these two terms. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try factoring. So we're gonna reverse this. So now I'm gonna give this example. Okay, we're gonna factor this. Which means, look, I'm starting with something that looks like this and what I wanna end with is something that looks like this. So look, let me, I'm gonna set up my parentheses. Okay, now let's observe my pattern. Look, I'm gonna take my pink. Where did this term come from? Look, the first term. Remember, we're going in reverse, so where did the first term come from? The first term came from this times this. Look, this times this. So what am I gonna make, what are the two terms that are gonna to multiply to five x squared? Okay, here's the thing. There's only two numbers that multiply to five. It's one times five, right? So, and in this case, the x squared, where does that come from? That comes from x times x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put five x, Look, and 1x, 1x just looks like this. So look, there are my two numbers that are gonna get me my first term. My first term, done, taken care of, all set. Okay, and I want you to, I wanna point out here that I've only used positives at this point. It does get trickier with negatives, but right now we're only focused on positives. Now, where does this term come from? It comes from these two, remember? So these two need to multiply to 10. Okay, now, here's the thing. There's some possibilities. It could be one times 10, 
it could be 2 times 5. Okay. Now, look, I'm going to put my positives. Everything here is positive, so I'm just going to put positive, positive for right now. So here, listen, there are four possibilities. It could be 1 and 10. It could be 10 and 1. It could be 2 and 5. It could be 5 and 2. And all of those, all of those possibilities are going to get me this 10 right here. They're all good possibilities. They're all perfectly, potentially correct. Okay, but then look, here's the thing. Remember, this times this plus this times this, that has to add to 27. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to try possibilities. Now watch, you could write all this nice and dark, but watch, I'm going to write really light right now. See how light I'm writing? You know why? Because I'm going to end up erasing probably a lot. Okay, so look, let's try 1 and 10. I'm going to put 1 here and 10 here, nice and light. Okay, now look, 5x times 10, that's 50x. 1 times x, that's 1x. Oh, that doesn't add to 27, that adds to 51. So nope, look, that doesn't work. So look, I tried 1, 10. I'm going to switch them. 10, 1. Let's try this. 5x times 1 is 5x, plus 10 times x, that's 10x. Oh, does that add to 27? Nope, still no. Okay, so watch, I tried 1, 10 and 10, 1, so it must not be 1 and 10. Let's try 5 and 2. Look, I'll put the 2 here and the 5 here. Okay, nice and light still. 5 times 5, that's 25x. 2 times x, that's plus 2x. Oh, hey, look. <gasps> that adds to 27. I'm done. Okay, so notice I had to just guess and check. The fact that I got it wrong the first two times is not a problem. It's not a mistake. It's just how it goes. You know there's four possibilities, and you just try them one at a time. Okay, let's do one more. We're going to factor 2x squared plus 19x plus 24. Okay, so let's set this up. I know that this term is going to come from this times this. So how do we get 2x squared? Well, we do 2x times x. Okay, here I have all positives, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw some positives in there. Now, 24, oh, 24 is so tricky because it could be 1 times 24, it could be 2 times 12, it could be 3 times 8, and it could be 4 times 6. So you know what sucks? This is eight possibilities, because it can be 1 and 24, or 24 and 1. It can be 2 and 12, or 12 and 2. 3 and 8, or 8 and 3. 4 and 6, or 6 and 4. So you know what? That just sucks. And we just have to just be patient and just go one at a time. So look, I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to put, look, I'm doing, I know that these two numbers, look, this times this, will equal 24. Now look, I've already taken care of that. I'm only going to put in these blanks, I'm only going to put pairs of numbers that multiply to 24. So I'm only going to put like a 4 and a 6 or a 3 and an 8. So I don't have to check that every time. But what I am checking every time is this times this plus this times this, and I want it to add to 19. All right, so let's see. Let's start at the bottom. Let's do 4 and 6. So nice and light. 4, 6. Let's see. 2 times 6, that's 12x plus 4x. Uh, that's 16x. Oh, not 19. Nope, let's switch them. 6 times 4, so let's see, that's 8x plus 6x, mm, that's 14x. So, nope, okay, so look, I tried 4, 6, and 6, 4, so it's not 4 and 6. Let's try, let's try 3 and 8. 2x times 8 is 16x, and 3 times x is 3x, and oh look, that adds to 19. <gasps> I did it, done. Okay, now look, I didn't, it didn't take me too long on this, but you know what? I could have just gotten unlucky. I could have started here. I could have done 1, 24, 24, 1, 2, 12, like, right? I just happened to try the answer, the one that happened to be the answer, third. But sometimes it is going to take a lot of time. What I recommend is that you list out the possibilities and cross off as you go. That way you're not risking, like, doing a possibility and then you forget that you did it and doing it again, okay? But that's how it goes. Make sure this times this equals this uh, term. This times this equals that term, and then here you got to just check and make sure that the this times this plus this times this equals that 19x. All right, there it is. You're going to go ahead and give it a try. There's going to be six problems down below, so you can just do like right here, question three, four, five, six, and seven, eight right here. Okay, go for it.